watch this morning. Are we seeing an epidemic of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children, or is the epidemic that ADHD is being overdiagnosed? Great question, right? Well, according to the American Psychiatric Association, about 5% of American children do suffer from ADHD, yet numbers show 15% of children are diagnosed, and many of whom placed on powerful drugs with lifelong consequences. Here now with more is licensed mental health counselor Chantal Abbas. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to see you. you I was just well. telling you that I think this is such a great topic because there's so many kids who may be a little active in class, right, or who may not learn as quickly as others because they're a little distracted. Why do you think though so many kids end up being misdiagnosed? Well, ADHD is usually defined as inactivity or active behavior, impulsivity, and lack of attention mm -hmm. for six months in different settings. But unfortunately, we don't look at all of that. We look at maybe a snippet of that at a certain period of time. There are stressors, there's um, situations that go on at home, other types of disorders that manifest and look like ADHD. So the problem is that a lot of the symptoms you see with ADHD are other problems. Some kids are going through a lot of different changes, right. maybe a change at school, a change at home, family problems. There's some a trauma can look like ADHD because they're focused, they can't focus on what is going on at school. They're thinking about whatever it was that happened. So we really need to be more aware and in tune with our kids. Is there a bully situation going ah, on at school? Right. Is there something they're trying to avoid? Is there something that they're afraid of or don't want to deal with? Some kids have conduct disorder. They're unhappy. They are acting out, mm -hmm. and that can look like ADHD. And so what are some of the specific signs, right, that, that you should look for? Because parents get concerned when mm -hmm. they see their children or when they see a teacher who calls and says, hey, you know, for three weeks now, little Johnny has been acting up in class or he's been distracted or he hasn't been doing what he's supposed to be doing. And all of a sudden, you know, a parent might think ADHD. So right. what are some of the signs that, that parents should look for? Well, if a child is consistently having trouble at school with organizational skills... And when skills, you say consistent, what length of time are we talking? All day long, most of the day. Okay. It's very difficult to stay on task. Maybe for a short period of time they're able to, but then they're distracted and they're off to something okay. else. They're not able to sit still. Now, it isn't always inattention. ADHD can actually be just hyperactivity or inattention only, and just sitting there in a daydream and they may not move. Mm -hmm. Also, if they're hyper-focused on a certain particular topic... Ah. Ah, that can okay. also be ADHD because it can be a form of obsessive. So it can be an anxiety disorder or it could be ADHD. So sometimes you just, you know, you really don't know. It's better to take your child to a mental health professional and go through a full psychosocial evaluation. 15 seconds left. When you say mental health professional, is that psychiatrist? Is that therapist? What does that mean? Well, a therapist does therapy. So they're actually going to work with behavioral interventions for ADHD. What can we do to help this child stay on task? Mm -hmm. Do we need to break up the day, provide more reinforcement, you know, do other specific things that will help the child be structured and see visibly what they need to achieve their goal and a psychiatrist is going to put that child on medication mm -hmm. so if you don't want to go the medication route right away and you want to look at other things that might be causing the stressors or if the child has ADHD and you need behavioral interventions then I would see a therapist first a licensed professional so where can people find you if they want more information fascinating topic yes it's Chantalaboss.com all right Chantala good to see you you as well thank you so much always appreciate you bye